Uh, I've been remiss, I haven't done any videos here. We're leaving Israel today, heading off to Greece. Uh, so I wanted sort of to update my viewers. I'm standing in a, an area called Sarona, which is a, a, an oasis of quiet here in a, a bustling city, Tel Aviv. Uh, amazing skyscrapers, traffic till all hours of the evening, from what I can tell. Uh, my wife and I have had a very interesting time uh, strolling through the city full of cafes and restaurants on the beach down to Jaffa which is the old Arab city. We Yesterday we rented a car the day before and we visited Nazareth and Tiberias on the Sea of Galilee. It's quite something to think that you're in the area where 2,000 years ago this uh, humble preacher inspired a religion which now has over a billion adherents or believers in the world, a religion based on compassion and humility, um, sometimes qualities that uh, we seem to have lost uh, our belief in these days if you follow politics. And um, we then drove from Galilee up into the hills, uh, Zafda, I think it was, Zafdi, and other towns and uh, learned about the uh, Crusaders and the various Arabs, you know, chieftains who ruled in different parts here. Uh, went over to Acre, down through Haifa, stopped to swim again at uh, Netanya. Uh, lots of building here. It's amazing the amount of new construction. And so on the language learning front, uh, I'm, I have been trying to focus on Hebrew while here. Big thing for me is to get to where I can comfortably read the language. I'm still not there yet. Uh, I can read it when I'm reading on link because I can. I've read the story before. I can click on the text to speech. If I see a billboard and the characters are in any way stylized, I'm lost. But I know that as I continue to read and listen, I'm listen. I'm forging new neural networks in my brain. That in time I will get there. Uh, you know, I think 3,000 known words is a, is a number. I noticed with Greek that at 3,000 known words, I could start to feel a little more comfortable. I'm now at 7,000 known words in Greek. Uh, I've saved, uh, I don't know, 17, 18,000 links in Greek. I'm going back to my Greek. I want to get my known words in Greek uh, up over at least 10,000. I'm going to have an opportunity to use uh, Greek when I'm on Crete and in Athens. Then, of course, I come back to Israel. So I think Hebrew, I'm a long way off, but I am encouraged. Uh, I think I've made steps in the direction of learning Semitic languages so that uh, Arabic thereafter will be a little easier. I don't know if I'll stay with Hebrew or move on to Arabic. One other thing in this area here, uh, last night, or the night before rather, I met with uh, two very enthusiastic Israeli language learners and a girl who is Spanish but of Chinese uh, parents and we talked about language learning and and I noticed and we were talking about whether this one learner who's very advanced in Chinese could afford to leave Chinese to learn another language but he loses Chinese and it made me realize that I speak Chinese today much much better than I spoke it 45 years ago when I had just finished my intensive course, when I was translating, when I was interpreting for Canadian businessmen going into China, I was using it a lot, but I speak it better today. Why? Because I have learned other languages. Never underestimate the extent to which all of your language learning uh, activities are creating capabilities in your brain, networks for the language you're learning, and also a greater flexibility and a greater ability to learn language languages period you just have to stay the course sure you can vary and I've done this with Hebrew and I'm gonna and I'm doing it with Greek you vary it to the extent that you know I have a colloquial Hebrew so I look up some explanations of the grammar quickly forget them and so it's fun to do that and then of course I want to go back to my reading and listening which is where I'm really forging these new uh, neural networks doing the same in Greek you just have to stay the course and you have to trust that what you are doing is building up your capability, not only in the language you're learning, but also your, uh, uh, strengthening your ability to learn languages, period. So keep listening and reading and creating links. And that's all for now. The next video will be from somewhere in Greece, probably from the island of Crete. Bye for now.